We are about to watch a deep dive of Gran Turismo 7 and I'm pleased to say the game is launching on the 4th of March. We have no delays. I'm very happy about that. Uh, I've been holding out because I wanted to watch this in 4K. Um, the stream was in 1080p and I'm like, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until it's in 4K. I'm gonna enjoy it, embrace it. Because this game deserves to be played on the highest resolution. So cinematics and gameplay, well, all captured on the PS5, by the way. And there's some cars in this already. And it does look already instant. Instant. GT3 cars there at the end. Ooh. This is kind of mad. This is actually kind of mad. Hello, everyone. I'm Kazunari Yamauchi, producer of the Gran Turismo series. Today, I'm here to give you an update on our latest game, Gran Turismo 7, releasing March 4th, 2022. I wasn't invited. <laughs> Over its 25 year history, the Gran Turismo series has demonstrated a serious oh, love so and respect good. for cars. Oh, the radar, I, I love that radar. It's so useful. What's more, Gran Turismo 7 Especially represents the 25th anniversary of the series. I wonder what that. Gran Turismo uh, 7 will represent the pinnacle of the GT journey. We think of it as our most complete GT to date. We have designed GT7 so that those who have never come into contact with automotive culture until now can really get to know the deep, rich world of cars. GT3 cars, R8, full GT. Our aim was to create a driving simulator that all players can enjoy. I like that. So rookies. Whether you're a hardcore Gran Turismo fan or brand new to the series, I think Gran Turismo 7 will be enjoyable for everyone. The history of cars is long, and the world of cars is massive, with lots of attractive cars contained within. For GT7, we have prepared over 400 cars from automobile brands around the world. Holy moly! That's a lot. That's a lot of cars. We've also prepared 34 locations from around the globe with over 90 layouts. I'm gonna look for some new ones, but I'm... Daytona, Willow Springs, sort of Deep Forest there as well. And more tracks and cars will be Tokyo, added in future online Expressway updates. Tokyo, Expressway is back. Mm. Of back. It's just nice to see it. Now let's take a closer details. look at the GT7 player like, experience. That's madness. So this is where you come into Here's the game. Here's a new map screen. And this is the, yeah, that's what you look at. The map is a menu that allows access to the various features in Gran Turismo 7. Our inspiration here was to create a paradise, almost a vacation resort that celebrates car culture. It does look a bit like that. Gran Turismo Resort. <laughs> when you begin the campaign, you'll use provided in-game credits to purchase a compact car. So this is literally us starting the game right now. Yeah, it's the very first car you buy. It's actually grinding in the game. You don't instantly get the McLaren day one. Actual grinding, I love it. The Sunday Cup! You'll then progress Sorry. through the campaign yeah, by participating in races, I did this unlocking so new cars, times. and by tuning and upgrading yeah, your vehicles in, um, for better performance. This is ultimately the classic GT campaign mode, but GT7 has more to offer. So it has the classic GT campaign. So you've got to collect those cars and then you get like a bonus, I guess? The cat. One new feature is the Gran Turismo Cafe. Okay. This will be the center of the map in Gran Turismo 7. Mm -hmm. Even this looks good. <laughs> Here at the cafe, players will be given a car collection menu. Track a lot. Can you unlock a track for doing this? You have to acquire those you complete each menu by winning races and championships while exploring this car resort. Can't wait to so there's going to be plenty to do. Hey, we did it! We got all the free cars. 
little MX-5 outside. Sometimes the people who actually design those cars will appear to talk about the design in person. Nice. The classic hairdresser car. It's what a car. By completing menus for a variety of car collections at the cafe, <laughs> players will naturally come into contact with the history of cars and the culture behind them. I love that. I love that. I want to learn more history about cars. Oh, the GTR brand, the Skyline brand, the first one right there. Mm, in that picture. Um, I've just recently got a GTR, so I guess I'm a part of that family now. This is where you buy your new cars. Brand Central is a shopping mall where a player can purchase new cars. Here, players can purchase roughly 300 car models from 2001 and later. As long as it Automotive manufacturers from around the world have assembled here. Loads of Fords, Mustangs, Raptors, Ford GTs, Nissans, yes, R34s. My previous car, the Fair Lady 315. I can learn about the history. And not only are there showrooms for purchasing cars, there's also a museum for each manufacturer where you can learn about the history of individual brands. This is a museum of Porsche. And it begins with the birth of Dr. Ferdinand Porsche, establishing his own design firm. Would I include it in a video when I'm doing like a series or something? Probably not. But in terms of just me learning about that, that, that manufacturer, especially like Nissan, I've got a Nissan car. I've got a Nissan car. Gran Turismo 7 also years. houses a world of used cars. I want to learn more. Teach me. Teach me your way. At the used car dealer, players can purchase cars for more affordable prices. This is the used car market. However, some very popular used cars may be sold at an even higher price than when they originally came out. These include the Japanese sports cars of the 90s that are seeing a big boom in popularity worldwide. Yep. The this car lineup will be updated and changed slightly every day. Prices are insane. Obviously the game is doing a good job of representing that. Even though it's a used car, it's still going to be goddamn expensive. <laughs> Even in-game, DB5. Certain iconic cars have marked their names in the history books. Even after a hundred years, their allure will never fade. The legendary credits. car dealership specializes in these types of famous vehicles. I mean, it is the 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 Martin car, you'd say, wouldn't you? In the world circuit, the you'll have really access to a variety of tracks. We don't have access to At the launch, away, GT7 will feature 34 locations and over 90 layouts. This includes real ones, world and fantasy circuits. I recognize them all, so. <laughs> Daytona. Welcome to Daytona. Legendary fantasy tracks from past GT games, such as Trial Mountain, Deep Forest and High Speed Ring return for GT7 with stunning modern visuals. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love it! There are various races and championships hosted at each track. And the circuit experience activity can help you learn these tracks. In the custom race mode, you can combine things like weather conditions and AI cars of your choice to create personalized races. So multi-tier events. You don't have to have just GT free cars, for example. You can mix up, mix up a little bit. Yay, licenses! Gran Turismo is well known Woo! for its license tests. Come on. Many people look back and remember how hard they tried to achieve mm. gold results in this mode. So Naturally, GT7 includes license tests Lovely. where you can learn driving techniques from the ground up. Here, there are many short mini games that teach you these skills. I just like the effect in that one corner. You just learn so much from doing it over and over again, getting that gold cup. Mission races is where you'll find unique events beyond typical races and time trials. 
For example, here's drag racing. That's fast stuff. You'll need to tune your car for more power, while also remembering the importance of throttle control from a standing start. Drifting, baby. That is some serious smoke. There are also drift trials where players compete using their drifting techniques. There are several ways to play and interact with other players in GT7. Split screen! Yeah, baby. First, there is a two-player split screen that you can play together in your living room with family and friends. Honestly, not in video games very often anymore. It takes up so many resources having to process two images. The games tend to avoid it, but GT's like, yeah, let's do it. We still, we still want that to be a part of the gaming experience. Go ahead. Does anyone know if the GR86 is actually out yet? Second, there are lobbies and meeting places that you can enjoy with your friends online. Live online? Tokyo Expressway. What a classic. 21 cars. Finally, in sport mode, you can enjoy serious racing with players all over the world. The graphics. So good. Better than I actually expected. Right. Oh, this is uh, Interlagos, Brazil, the home of Senna. And Max Verstappen pushing people off the track and not getting punished. Visuals and simulation. Completely recreating beautiful cars is the essence of the Gran Turismo series. What have done a great job, by the way, is making the PlayStation 5 version of GT7 features photorealistic graphics using ray tracing. Lots of people in the crowds. We're just feeling like a, there we go, perfect example of it. Feeling like a living, breathing race weekend at these tracks, which I love. So many games, the tracks are just bleh. like no one's there, it's dead. Vision cars. Ray tracing aims to more accurately depict lighting and reflections. But the application that is most suited for may actually be in the expression of cars. This is because the shiny surfaces of cars reflect the world around them. With ray tracing, the graphics of Gran Turismo make a jump into the next dimension. It's like 12 a.m. right now. It's <laughs> 12 time. Look at that. The, the Mustang, the history of the Mustang. In my hands. The color of the skies and the shape of the clouds you see every day are determined by the energy of the sun, the earth itself, and the condition of the atmosphere that surrounds it. If you look at it on a global scale, air containing moisture from the oceans flows into the continents. That air is warmed by the Earth's surface, heated by the sun, which produces ascending air currents. The air containing moisture will continue to rise in altitude due to this current, and once at a certain altitude and temperature, it creates the clouds you see in the sky. In GT7, we have simulated the process of how these clouds are formed. Based on a vast amount of meteorological data, temperatures, humidity, and air pressure specific to each region, skies in Japan will change like they do in Japan, and skies in California will change as they do in California. Well, the Gran Turismo series has always placed an importance on starlit skies at night. There's some really cool ideas in this as well. It's not in GT7, just we have aimed for an even higher design. quality of expression. There's a lot more to do. There's some really cool ideas. But just add that. Starry skies seen really in specific lovely. locations at certain dates and times will be drawn using a simulation that includes not just stars, but even planets. Whoop. The moon will rise and set in the same way that the sun rises and sets. The color of the stars will change depending on whether the atmosphere is clear or hazy. 
time changes and weather simulations are expressed in the scenery and light. These factors can affect atmospheric and surface temperatures. What was that that popped up briefly? Was that a yellow flag? <laughs> and by doing so, affect the tire grip, engine power, and strength of the slipstream effect, integrating with the automotive physics simulation. This might be it rains the and the surface the becomes wet. Track evolution ever. Puddles form in locations that are prone to them. The rain ends, and the surface starts to dry from the areas that tend to dry first. Still puddles. The areas with puddles will remain wet the longest. I like that little and these wet kinds of changes will occur naturally. In the grass, that's very cool. If you go. Into that little One simple example of this weather off. simulation is a <laughs> rain cloud radar that many players will be familiar with. Players can look at this display and predict the coming weather to a certain extent. On a huge circuit like the Nürburgring, it can rain on one part of the track while being sunny on a different section. Woo! It's my car! <laughs> Still not sure about that new Nissan logo. Gran Turismo is a real driving simulator, but we always place the same level of importance in being able to watch your driving in a replay as we have with the fun of driving. This is a really good deep dive, by the way. This high quality replay it. mode is also present in GT7. Really don't like the new Supra. I'm trying to desperately like it, but it's slow. It's basically a BMW. Still not sure about the looks. I've seen it in person as well. Me. I just can't like it. I struggle to like it. It would not even be remotely in this race right now. It's just not fast enough. It would be at the back of the grid, struggling. Unless it's been customized. Right, the music bit we're gonna have to skip. We have developed a new music replay. YouTube and stuff. But well, there we go. I apologise. Uh, replay every time you. Um, it will cut at specific points of the song and it will sort of match. Um, yeah, it will sort of cut. It's quite nice. It's well done. It's almost like someone's gone in and actually edited it a little bit. Uh, this is more music. Very classical. I will play it briefly. Ah, oh, <laughs> very relaxed. It's just matching to that tune. Car physics. Automotive physics simulation in Gran Turismo has 25 years of history. Our team gathers feedback from many expert advisors, including Lewis Hamilton, top drivers of the FIA GT Championships, and our technical partners at Michelin. This feedback fuels our automotive simulation, which means that track lap times are consistent to their real-life counterparts, okay. and that the driving experience accurately reflects fine sensations. See you later. The effects of front and rear vehicle height changes on a car, the effect of wind direction at a circuit, and slipstream effects are all recreated through an aerodynamic simulation using CFD. To fully express reality, devices that can convey information that goes beyond graphics and sound are very important. This is the reason for adaptive triggers and haptic vibrations. Yeah, it is a Honda Civic. Thanks to the adaptive triggers and haptic vibration capabilities of the DualSense wireless controller, we're able to enhance the player's level of immersion on the PS5 console. The adaptive triggers will allow your fingertips to feel the vibrations of a tire locked state while braking. When the real car goes into a corner with too much speed, the front tires will be felt on the steering wheel. With GT7 and the DualSense controller combined, it will be possible to feel the state of the front tires in the form of vibrations. With the DualSense controller, you'll feel as if you're holding the steering wheel of a real car, feeling the track underneath. The DualSense and racing games, it's gonna be incredible. Right, I think this is where we left off. Uh, my internet turned off yesterday, so hence this video is slightly delayed and I've got different clothes on. Yeah, anyway, um, let's keep going. Whether it's from the left or right or the front, we can identify when a sound is above us or behind audio. us. Yeah. We sense the fine differences in sound affected by the shape of our head, 
our earlobes and the difference in the speed at which sound reaches our left and right ears in order to determine where that sound is coming from. It's gonna be a big deal. 3D audio is a technology that recreates these sensations. Here's a quick demonstration of some of the sounds of GT7. Oh yes. Oh yes. The tuning shop also returns in Gran Turismo 7. Talking of customization. We have prepared approximately 60 types of performance parts per car. 60, 60 parts per car. Obviously everyone starts with a filter when they customize a the car. It's the easiest thing to do. Doesn't always add that much horsepower, honestly. But it's a good thing to do anyway. By combining these, you can change the performance and overall driving experience as you like. Let's actually try it then. Are we actually going to see like a side by side? This is a first generation Volkswagen Beetle. The People's Car, designed by Dr. Ferdinand Porsche, is a rear engine car, which is fairly rare nowadays. Let's try tuning this car. On the left is the, the standard beetle. On the right is the custom beetle. Oh. It is, yeah, it's not in there. It's not even a fair comparison, honestly. It's, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. What is going on? Brad's hatch. the GT company, even simple stuff like going to the cat and just learning about these manufacturers. This is a love letter to racing games, to cars. Can't wait. Ooh, Rainbow brakes. While tuning involves changing a car's performance, car customization at GT Auto allows you to change its appearance. Uh, one second. Oh my god, you can change the end plates of the wing. That's pretty impressive. Um, so I'm gonna go back a little bit here. So you got so you Rainbow Brake, so you can obviously change the calipers, the color, love it. Um, you can go wingless, there's a type A and a B. Well, and tuning custom, involves- So the custom wing set is when you can change the end plate. Changing a car's performance. Car customization at GT Auto allows you to change its appearance. That's a lot of end plates. That's really cool. I feel like I've not really seen that in other video games. You know we have just one custom wing or a couple of custom wings. Over 650 aerodynamic parts, 130 types of wheels, 1200 colors of measured paint data. You can go on forever with the numbers. I like how they have the color. But there are several the dozen types of parts per car, totaling to several thousand customization parts. Ooh. Roll cage. You can even install roll cages and do wide body modifications. I love that animation. What the hell? Just like stretching the car. That is wide though. That must have, that must have took a lot of stretching. The livery editor for decorating and painting cars has also evolved. You can now apply stickers to areas that did not allow sticker placement in the past. The limit to the number of stickers that can be applied to the cars has also been increased. 
drink it now. That looks like a real livery. So I'm confused. Car wash, oil change, engine overhaul. GT Auto car will include your familiar car wash and oil changes as well. I wish it was that easy. Scapes offers a new world of photography. So this is the photography part of the of the of the the gameplay. Um, I'm excited for this, but I wouldn't say it's a massive factor for me. Let's let's look unreal. This has always been like a sort of classic sort of Gran Turismo trait, I guess. This sort of photo mode, I do like it. It's a little bit cheesy, but the cars look incredible, and the settings, the ray tracing as well. I don't believe the ray tracing is actually in game. It's well, it's it's in game, but it's not doing the gameplay. It's just for like photo mode and stuff like that. Damn. Yeah, there's so many options. I mean, look how incredible that looks. Incredible. And then you can showcase your pictures, your helmets online. Whether there's a benefit to doing that, I don't know. Or if it's just like a friendly share mechanism. Some really cool. They showed off some really cool stuff, no doubt about that. Um, so this is all again music based. I, I can't really show it too much, but basically, um, you have to beat the music, beat the beats. So you somehow got to travel five point three miles, which sounds like quite a lot. It does sound like quite a lot. So I don't have to. Yes, if if they have to, if you have to hit the apexes or. Not quite sure how it works. Hello, DB5. What does he do? Because I'm pretty sure the beats go up. There we go. Plus, I guess maybe hit an apex or just travel a certain mileage, and it um and it goes up. Yeah, another cool addition. This Cobra, by the way. <clears throat> My father-in-law used to have like a replica. It's such a nice car. Such an icon. Such an iconic car as well. There's not really much on the market like it. Is it still music? <laughs> still tons of music. Look at those. Yeah, very, very exciting. I think this Gran Turismo looks like, it looks like a return to glory days. Um, it looks so good. Graphics, the new features, a proper GT campaign as well. Online multiplayer, they haven't really touched much on yet, but it's looking positive. Like in the multi-class, the fact the game is coming out on the release date, it hasn't been delayed. That's a big deal. Um, 400 cars, 34 locations, 90 layouts. I am very impressed. Very impressed indeed. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in 4K, of course. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys um, for the launch of this game. Because I want to cover this game to bits. I've got my Grand Turismo wheel behind me. I've got my DualShock. I've got my PS5 ready. All I need now is the game. <laughs> Very excited. Very excited. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.